Well, hello, friends of the T Woods, Shidi Dragoon back in business. And uh, today, a small legal disclaimer I'm not a lawyer, and I'm most certainly not your lawyer. Um, and um, yes, <clears throat> so uh, even though I contribute to the T Woods project, I'm not here uh, representing the T Woods project as an official employee. And um, yeah, but still, I, I have to tell you something. Um, most of the things we um, did in the previous episodes, if you followed step by step, were kind of illegal, so to say. Um, you should not, by definition of the T-Worlds rules, can we quickly find those rules? T-Worlds.com. Um, there are some rules somewhere. Uh, T-Worlds master server rules. There was this file somewhere. Uh, um, I should have prepared that somewhere. Ah, rules. It says big here. Ah, uh, no, those are the forum rules, right? Docs, support rules. Server hosting rules. Okay, so we found them. Um, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> a modify here rule number one: a modified T World server must not use a standard game type DM, TDM, CTF, LMS, LTS. Okay, so same um, as for maps, you are not allowed to um, create your own map and then call it CTF1 or DM1. Um, this is illegal uh, modification of standard maps. Same goes for servers. Um, if you filter in the server browser for um, play, if you filter for T-Words, you open the T-Words filter and I, I'm in local, that's great. And all those servers are just filtered by the name of the game type and it is expected that you get unmodified vanilla T-World servers here. And um, to ensure this, it is made illegal to modify a T-World server without changing the um, modification name. So um, it's only illegal to put those in the master server. So if you haven't hosted your server yet somewhere, everything is fine. But I just wanted to quickly mention that um, Yes, uh, I should have probably mentioned that in the beginning of the series, um, but this is not structured at all, so bear with me here. And as always, take everything I say with a grain of salt since I'm not an expert in anything at all, but um, I'm trying to do my best here. Okay, so if you want to publish your T-World server to the interwebs, then um, it should change the, the name of the server. Uh, same goes for standard maps. You do not have to do that for the client though. You can put as many hex in your clients and um, changes and whatever, but you do not have to uh, tell anyone that you did that. Um, okay. By the rules of the T-Worlds master server, right? Um, uh, individual server hosters might disagree with this uh, uh, advice I gave you. Okay. So, um, yeah, and you should not fake the human count and blah, de blah, and don't overdo it. Yeah, in general, you should probably read those rules. If you break them, you can land in here, which is a list of bunt servers. So if a um, person discovers that you did something illegal, um, he might report you and then you are not showing up in the T-Worlds browser anymore. Uh, you're most likely not going to jail. Okay, so uh, after five minutes of useless introduction, let's get started and actually change uh, and fix our, our server modification. Unprepared as always, I have no clue how that actually works. Um, yeah, so there was something, okay, let's search in the whole, okay, let's make it bigger at first. Uh, let's search in the whole source code with Control Shift F for, for example, CTF. And then we can see, aha, this is the standard uh, game type. Mm -hmm. This is on the client side, that's not very interesting. We want the server. Aha, interesting, check tuning. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wow, look at this. Um, t rolls is very mod friendly and you can have uh, here mod already. I guess it might work out of the box. Much well prepared, let's quickly test that. And um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I should probably change the password recon. Okay, local sv underscore game type is currently dm by default. Let's try to set it to mod. That worked. So if we refresh, uh, we should probably reload the server. If we reload the server and go to server info game type mod, all is saved. So you do not even have to touch the source code to fix everything. Just make sure that your game type is always running under mod. Um, you changed it with SVO game type. And um, to make sure that works just fine, we can go to uh, the definition of SV game type in variables.h. There's SV game type and um, as discussed in the variables episode in the uh, two, two episodes ago, I guess. Um, we can put in here the default one being mod and not DM anymore. And then everything should work out of the box fine and you're fine from the legal side. If you want a custom name, let's say we call our mod, um, how do we call it? Ah, uh, my mod, boy, it's such a good name. Let's keep it short and just call it my, right? And um, then we want to, okay, so they gave us um, a game controller here already. So as I said, you should create your own classes and you should create your own files where you put your modification. So let's change that from mod to my, and let's uh, get all occurrences of the game controller mod, and then click here and click replace and call it my and then click here for replace all and then we replaced um, that with my did that work out of the box I don't know let's quickly try to compile it uh, looks good so far does it work wonderful okay that worked and if we search for mod, we have mod.h and mod.cpp. We can also change those names, but then you would have to um, change. Okay, let's do that really quick. We can we can change it. So we um, call that my.h. And then in my.h, we go um, mod.h is it currently. So we rename the header, the include guard i will go into include guards in a later episode i guess um okay so those are under source game server game modes mod.h and mod.cpp and we want to rename those files so we right click here and click rename and call it my and then also my okay so now if we try to build it it will fail because in uh, control P, C, make list.txt. Those are hard coded. Control F, mod.cpp. You can see here all the source files listed. So if you want to change a name of a source file and you want to, or you want to add a new file, you have to always edit C, make lists.txt for the build system to work. If you're building with BAM, that is a little bit more dynamic, but um, repositories like ddnet drop a BAM support, so it's uh, usually good to uh, know about C, make and then change that to my and hope it worked probably something broke let's press f7 to build the whole thing and it broke of course because we have to include of mod.h still in there then we control shift f for mod.h in game context.cpp we're including it and we want to make sure that it's my.h okay so now it could compile possibly wonderful that worked Okay, so I'm compiling with uh, F7 here and I have the um, C++ and CMake tools uh, extensions installed. I explained that in a different video, but um, just if you wonder how I do this magic things. Um, okay, so 
Um, yeah, so this was all just code-wise the, for the user, nothing changed, um, but here's the actual name of the modification. So we want to change that to my, okay? And we want to also change the, okay, so we have the default change to my. So basically everywhere it's changed to my. That's good. And now uh, we can, oh yeah, we should build it here. Okay, good. Now we can start the server again. Much more, much German. Okay, so now we can see the game type is my, and if we go to the server browser, we have, uh, yeah, my, and it's showing this custom icon. So that's cool, we are on the legal side and we have our own custom name for the modification, which is a very crucial thing in the beginning to do. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and that's good. So, yes. And let's quickly go over this file here. Um, you have for every game modes, if you go to game modes, um, yeah, we have ctf.cpp here, we have dm.cpp, like all the standard game types and those uh, behaviors. Um, like in ctf, we have flag specific things. Um, uh, like dropping the flag on death and stuff and returning the flag. This is code that is not present in the uh, dead match or uh, survival or n not survival, last man standing game types. Okay, so, <clears throat> or should we probably call them battle royale game types to go with the cool kids flow? Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> to be extra nice developer much wow you should never touch things like game context.cpp what we've been doing all series long and what i will probably continue to do because i'm a horrible developer um, you should probably put all your code in here in your own uh, my.cpp file and then when the um, vanilla code changes if there's a new update it's uh, much less uh, struggle and trouble and whatever and headache to to get updated to newer T Worlds versions and your code is a little bit more extracted, um, which is uh, usually a good thing to um, exclude your code um, in a whole different file that you can move it around uh, through uh, source bases and put it. Um, yeah, it's more portable in this way, and um, yeah. So we can by default it's uh, the game flex if the game flex are not set there. Uh, in deathmatch mode. So if you want teams, you can just uncomment that line as uh, it's it's told here, like everything explained in those comments, super nice. And um, if we comment that out, we can have teams by, uh, yeah, I should restart the server. Okay. So as you can see, I'm now team red and we have red and blue team just by commenting out this line. <coughs> and here you have your tick where you can, this uh, function is called every every tick, yeah. So I think the default tick speed is like 50, 30, I don't know. Uh, we can tick speed, is it with an underscore? Uh, what's the tick speed? I'm sure. Jesus, why do I? Yeah, server tick speed. That's how it's called. So it's fifty, um, not thirty. So um, I think that means fifty times a second, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so every tick that's a lot of times um, this function gets called and here you can do yeah magic like your code um, all right and you can also hook in uh, some events like on character death and so on um, but I'm not going to explain that in this episode so this episode is just about basically changing your game type name which is something essential 
Um, yeah, and I recommend you looking through this code and maybe looking at other modifications on GitHub, for example, how they have used this um, own mod file and um, what is good keyword style. Okay, that's it for this episode. <laughs>